What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. And today I'd like to give you some kind of tips and tricks that I've learned along the way while playing. So if you're new to Call of Duty in general or Call of Duty Modern Warfare, this will help you out. And if you're new to Warzone or new to Battle Royale, hopefully this will help you out as well. The gameplay you're seeing in the background is the very first game I played of Warzone. Could not believe I got a win in the very first game. Kind of got lucky, had one teammate left alive. And he actually survived in the circle because the gas killed everyone else that was left. But I was playing this game with two randoms. And I have played the majority of the games I have played by myself with two randoms. I have played with a few friends, you know, where it would be me and another friend and a random. But if you do have the option to play with people you know, it's always a great idea. And one reason is because, of course, the map is large, a lot of players. So it's a challenge to win. And the first thing I really can tell you tip-wise is pool your money together. Make as much money as possible. Give all the money to one player. Let him go to the buy station and buy the loadout drop. The loadout drop will drop in and, of course, give you an option to pick some loadouts from your loadout section and some weapons you want to run. Of course, go ahead and make these loadouts in the main menu before you go in-game. That way you know what weapons that you have available there. But in my opinion, having a good set loadout is key to winning. That way you can have pretty much whatever weapon you want. You don't have to worry about picking up random weapons. So make sure you're pooling your money together. If you try to make all the money yourself, it's pretty impossible before the game ends. Sometimes you can if you get a lot of kills, but majority of the time it's best to pool your money together with your teammates. Whether you're playing with friends or randoms, just say, hey, you know what? I got this much. You got this much. Let's go get a loadout. The next thing I would say is probably armor plates if you absolutely need them. But there's a lot of armor plates kind of scattered around the map. So I would say a UAV and self-revive for all three members. Uh, if all three members have a UAV, all three members have a self-revive, and you have loadouts, you're pretty much set as long as you play smart. The next thing, if you are new and you're not sure how to spot enemies or areas, on PlayStation, up on the D-pad, and I'm sure it's the same on Xbox, I would assume, up on the D-pad is going to spot an area. If you double tap up on the D-pad, it's going to uh, kind of bring up this little red square diamond shape. It's going to show that there's an enemy in that location. And if there's an enemy in your crosshair, when you double tap up on the D-pad, it will actually mark that enemy uh, for a second. So make sure you are aware of that. Also, do not sprint all the time. I know a lot of people are going to be running around the map. It's so big, you want to cover a lot of ground, get a lot of loot. The only problem is with sprinting, you are extremely loud. And the sound right now is kind of weird in this game. You can hear your own footsteps, but a lot of times you do not hear enemies when they're right around you sprinting. So... If for some odd reason they can hear you, you can't hear them, it's going to be big trouble for you because you're going to get gunned down without even knowing anyone is there. The next thing I would say is don't always solo push large groups. If you see two or three enemies, if you're by yourself or you're away from your team, don't always push those individuals by yourself. Because if you're in a fight with two or three people, you have, let's say you have all your armor on, that's fine, but two or three people are going to be able to gun you down if they are coordinated. So make sure you make coordinated pushes with your teammates and your friends uh, or, or your friends, whoever you're playing with, because that is going to be the easiest way to get quick kills. Uh, also, another good thing is if you are down and you do have a self-revive, you do have teammates close, instead of burning that self-revive, if your teammates can get to you, Save that self-revive because sometimes you might need that later. I just thought of that while I was sitting here watching this kind of gameplay go back and noticing, you know, I'm going down, enemy or friendly is going down, whatever the case may be. You want to always make sure that you're not using that self-revive unless it's absolutely needed. Uh, the other thing I could say is create uh, a, some good classes. You know, I talked about create creative classes and being able to uh, get those through that. Uh, box, of course, when you pull your money together and it drops in, you want good creative classes. So in my opinion, a AR and a sub, uh, so that way the sub, you can move around a little bit quicker. Maybe if you want to snipe some, or an LMG and a pistol is a really good, in my opinion. So make sure you have a couple good creative class slots together there. So whenever, whatever the situation that you're in, whenever you call in that um, loadout drop, you have some good classes to choose from and not just one. You want a couple, in my opinion. I have three made. That is probably the best to have a good default three classes. That way you can have something to work in any situation. Um, the other thing that I would say is always make sure that you change that minimap size. This is something that has just been added into Modern Warfare. You can change your minimap size from that default circle to the square. I had not done it yet in this um, game and I just noticed that they had added it for the patch a few days back. Make sure you change that to the square because the square is going to give you a little bit more kind of visibility of what's around you. And I think the square just looks a lot better, just kind of for information overall. And last but not least, some tips to kind of how to open up your parachute. When you jump out to begin with, it's kind of like, in my opinion, Fortnite. If you go straight down, you're going to gain a lot of speed. 
but you're just going to keep continuously going straight down. If you do the kind of method of where you jump out of the plane, you open your parachute, and then, of course, you cut the cord. Once you cut that cord, you're going to gain more speed. So you can jump out and kind of get to the angle you want to go. I would recommend as soon as you jump out, pretty much open that parachute and get going in the direction you want to go. Cut the parachute, kind of angle the way you're wanting to go again, open the parachute, and just repeat until you get to the area you want to be in. That is the easiest way that I know that you can cover a lot of ground. If you jump out and just try to go there automatically without opening your parachute, you're not going to make it as far and you're probably going to get beat to the ground pretty easily. If you're wanting to cover a little distance, like I said, open your parachute pretty much when you jump, close it or just cut it, and you can reopen and cut the parachute as much as you want. That way you can cover a lot of ground, gain some more speed, and get kind of to where the area you want to be at in the end. Anyway, guys, I hope these tips helped you out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Warzone so far. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, if you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell, bell icon up in the top right corner. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.